Hello and welcome to Ignition. So today I thought I'd have a quick look at the INEOS Grenadier, but not so much from the vehicle's perspective, it's the site that it's going to be manufactured in. Now, most people know that this projected site was going to be built in Bridgend in Wales, and the theory was that they'd employ two to five hundred people, um, and then Obviously, as the product grows and sales grow, hopefully that would increase. The unfortunate thing that seems to be pretty factual now is that Ineos have done a deal with Mercedes to take over all or part of its site in Hambach, which is in eastern France. It's this massive site here. So I, I can't imagine they're going to take over the whole thing. But as I say, what do I know? It, it looks far too big uh, to take over. But you can see the logic in taking over a site that is a purpose-made automotive site and if Mercedes want to shift it one would assume that it's going to be competitive if, if cost is even there at all. You would imagine that if Mercedes haven't got a use for it it's a nice way of offloading something to somebody else and the logistics of Ineos's build there make, make a little bit of sense to me because the Engines are BMW sourced. The ZF gearbox is made in Germany, I believe. Uh, therefore, the logistics side being on uh, mainland Europe makes a huge commercial sense. Isn't it? There's absolutely no argument that commercially, I think that Ineos's decision to build in France is actually very sensible. Uh, whether I believe it's right or not is a, is a, is a different story. Now, Wales the, the, they've already apparently started work or they've cleared the site to build this one although this is obviously only a, um, a design image and the, the, the theory of the Ineos is that it's a rugged British 4x4 it's a utilitarian product that Jim Ratcliffe believes that there's a market for and an area that's not being properly developed by other manufacturers and I tend to agree with him the product looks absolutely oh, I think it's fantastic in fact I want one. The issue I have is that I believe that the Ineos Grenadier should be made in Wales I think it would give kudos to the product I think from a build perspective Welsh people are very very proud of what they do and therefore the quality of the product that came out of a site in Wales would be top-notch Welsh people do not uh, do not let things slide easily they take a pride in everything that they do and they do things well and to the best of their ability and um, having spent a lot of time in Wales from um, a previous life work-wise Welsh people are exceptionally good at what they do and exceptionally reliable dependent and, and um, dependable and, and professional so I think Wales is a fantastic site to choose I think the Welsh people, the Welsh build and the product, perfect, perfect. So I think it would help the product, not only from the build point of view, I just think having that British heritage on it and the name, allegedly this was all thought up in the, the, the Grenadier pub and as he's posing outside, I have no reasons to suspect that that isn't the case. So to me almost it has to be built there but if we if we look at the Land Rover Defender that's being built in a plant in Nitra Slovakia now again the 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 the, the, the focus that JLR have put over there they've got a seven and a half million pound training academy they've taken the unemployment rate from 11.2 percent in the area to 2.1 the lowest in any Slovakian region they employ 2,800 people and that shows you what an automotive company can do in your backyard so from Boris's perspective he's running the company country company country same thing really and my wife tells me that um, the UK government are paying people £10 to go out to dinner to get the, the whole thing back from the virus. Well, that's insane. Um, I'm not uh, qualified or intelligent enough to run a country and I'm first to put my hand up and say that I'm not. But I, I wouldn't be paying anyone to go out for dinner. I would rather see that money invested in building a plant in Wales so that there is a future employment growth and um, the investment in the area slashes unemployment like it has done in Slovakia. That's what I want to see the UK do with the money. 
they've had all my tax over my working career um, and would I be happy that they spend it on a factory in Wales for Ineos to build this car? Bloody hell yes I would and I can't believe there's many people who would disagree that the government should be investing in industry. The country is a small island, the UK is a small island overpopulated with very little manufacturing left and as someone who drove around the countryside looking for manufacturing companies to sell to I know how many massive factories are empty and how many people can't do a manufacturing job anymore because the businesses aren't there so it's time the UK understood that other than China I don't think there's many people setting up car manufacturing businesses in on this planet and potentially it would be nice to see it in Wales so the only thing that's that's positive is Aston Martin actually they've built a factory they've taken over a Ministry of Defence site again in South Wales and they've converted it in St Athen uh, and it's a 98 acre site and they're going to be building the DBX there their new sort of SUV and allegedly 80% of those will be exported out the country that's just what you want to hear isn't it and for Boris to miss the opportunity or not him the government he's the focal point the government and the Secretary of State and the Employment Secretary and whoever else is involved sitting around uh, discussing what the country does do not let Sir Jim Ratcliffe move the manufacturing site to France make sure that that's built in the UK everybody wants to see it built in the UK I've seen reviews from people in South Africa they want it built in the UK so step in whatever it costs get that factory built in Wales if the taxpayer has to dig into its pocket deep then let's do it it's better than um, paying me to go and have a pizza so uh, that is where I am on it whether you agree I, I can't imagine there's many people who disagree that, that that product needs to be built in the UK. I can't. But if you do, slag me off in the uh, comments below. But uh, that's a quick one. If you haven't looked at our review of the Jeep, the Land Rover, the Ineos Grenadier, and what was the other one? Oh, the Ford Bronco. I'll put a li link below. Uh, that's quite a good one to actually see more about the cars. But um, I think this was a rant, wasn't it? Probably pointless, but um, there we are. I enjoyed getting it off my chest. So if you have watched this to the end, brave, very brave. But thank you for watching. <laughs>